Good evening and welcome to Late Night Bride. I'm your hostess, Peggy Kelly, and tonight we're talking with now Mr. and Mrs. David and Jade Erickson. When you met them the last time, they were Jade Lewis and David Erickson, but something very magical happened, and you saw it in our opening. You saw the sight of an amazing, what we call epic, wedding day. It was at the Wiltern Theater, it was on August 31st, and these two lovely people went from two people to one couple. And tonight we're gonna talk with them, and we're gonna talk to them about what happened, what they learned, what they didn't know, what they know now. I don't know if there's anything that they would change, but if they did, they'll share that. And we're gonna look at some photos from that very special day and talk about those too. So stay tuned because we have lots to share with David and Jade Erickson and a Wiltern wedding. See you in a minute. Okay, cool. Got it. Love you. Bye. Bye. I get emotional. <laughs> I really do. You know, that, I mean, that's, that's the whole part of this. It, you know, yeah. this is so much more than people think it is. You know, it, it, it's not just a wedding, it's a life. You know, it's a marriage. And, um, and we get to be a part of that, which is really special. But, you know, as we build this today, you know, we're building their marriage, the place where they will take their vows, where they will, you know, make a commitment to be together in the good times and the not so good times. And, um, and there's a huge, a huge place in my heart for everyone that I do and all the ones that I see, um, because I know what it takes to be in that. So, you know, you're gonna see a lot of hardware and a lot of software and a lot of funware. But most of all, you're gonna see everything that has to do with love and this couple. So, um, David and Jade, here we go. This is all about you. So welcome back to Late Night Bride. And that sets the tone for our show tonight. This is all about you. <laughs> this is all about you. And your love and the opportunity that you gave me and, and, and some amazing partners. And they were truly partners in this to create your day you know it was your vision you know it was in your it was in your head we found that yeah. out in the rehearsal <laughs> as we're sitting with nate perry going <laughs> lighting cues okay um and so tell us tell us what you felt what you thought you know we've we've talked to the vendors you know over these last couple of shows you know about the mechanics of this but at the end of the day this is about you and how did it feel to walk down that aisle to to start in your day with hair and makeup? You know, let's let's start with the beginning of your day. Hair and makeup and the girls. Wow, uh, it takes so much longer than you imagine. Um, so when they say that you literally are starting at 9.30 in the morning, it really, you know, you think that's early for a five o'clock ceremony, but in a blink of an eye, it's it was three gone. hours have passed and like you need to get into a dress and take a first look photo and it's just, it's, it's wild how fast it goes. Yeah. Um, so all I would say is like definitely making sure you're rested because it, it, I, it, it's a marathon and it's not a sprint. And you had a class, you, you took mm -hmm. class. I did. So, so tell that's us about that uh, so because I, that's a big part of you. Yeah, so I took a yoga class. Um, before we at went to hair morning, makeup, right? yeah, at seven thirty in the morning, and it was a hot yoga class too, so it wasn't like just oh, yeah. normal yoga. Um, but that's, I think, how I maintained energy throughout the day, and that's how mm -hmm. I maintained my sanity. I think in some points, <laughs> because it's not always easy. No, 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 no. You know? It's it's challenging, and there's timelines that you need to try to stick with, but there's always hiccups. Mm -hmm. So timelines um, uh, get moved around sometimes. And I think as a bride, all I wanted to do was just see him. Right. So when it, you know, that's another thing you have to learn to deal with is being with all the women, <laughs> all the bridesmaids. Right. And for a long all day, you know, yes. you just want to see your future husband. Really? 
And so that, your best friend, basically. Right. So because right. um, you want to share it with him. Yeah. You know, that, that I think the hardest, and this is just an opinion, um, for couples is being apart. Yeah during that time. Mm -hmm. You know, um, a lot of times they don't spend the night together the night before, you know, kind of in, in some traditions and that. But, you know, when you're actually in the getting ready, you you want to share those moments yeah. with each other. And yet you, you, you know, you have the girls and you have the guys, you know. Yeah. And, and, and how was it with the men? Because they were very fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to, to our credit, we had a 7.30 a.m. appointment as well. And yes. Was, and tell us was, more. It was in the spa, though. It was <laughs> not, not a gym, but it was at the spa. So, yeah. We, I got the, the groomsmen's day started off um, thanks to the amazing people at the Ritz-Carlton where we were staying. Um, uh, start. Op they opened up the spa two hours earlier than it was supposed to so oh, that they nice. could bring in... Um, all the groomsmen to either get mm -hmm. a you know, straight shave for the day or a facial or a man everyone got manicures uh, I got an additional little 25 minute like pinpoint massage to nice. start off the day and then from there it was rolling over to the Wiltern to to start our process it, it it's it's for the men it's obvious not as quite a hectic scenario as it is with these bridesmaids and and gowns and makeup, makeup and, and hair. hair half of my groomsmen don't have hair so <laughs> it was my hair and makeup was real easy for for a lot of us um Dive it. <laughs> and so but we, for yeah. you because this was so p a part of you mm -hmm. wasn't there a part where i can't wait to get there i can't wait to get there i want to see what's going on I, you know that that little bit of anger how did you let that go by friday night yeah by friday night i had let that go the angst was on friday so when it when when it finally came time to to i want all i wanted to do was get to the wiltern as fast as possible right. to see setup because I, I wanted to be there for that and see how it was going because again this up until that day this was all just visions papers drawings and, right. and concept um you know but just to, uh, getting the chance to see how it was all coming together was right. That was the amazing part. That was the anticipation, the, the, the getting it, or the, you know, the excitement of it to see if it actually was going to come out the way that you know, we had envisioned it uh, to be. So it, and, and that was amazing. And so then by the time Saturday had rolled around and we were backstage getting ready, um, I was, I, I had already I let go of everything in terms Good. of, okay, I know this is, this, this, is, this is it. It's time to enjoy this because mm -hmm. all the work is done now. Um, there's nothing else you can really do, you know, make no, we're some in, we're problem in it solving, we're in it. Some, some problem solving, maybe things if you have that, but besides that, there's no more ordering, there's no more things to look for, can't do this, can't do that kind of thing. We're not so changing anything. You can't change anything else, so you got to take everything as it is and, yeah. and, and enjoy it as, right. in the way it was. And I think another great thing to like what Jade was saying is about how fast it does, it does seem to go, and it's true, I mean, you spent a... We spent a year of our lives uh, right. putting this thing, this, this event together for so a whole year for a total of eight hours of your life. Right. So it's no, it's no surprise that it, it flies by in a heartbeat. So it's, I think time like doubles or triples in, in, in speed. Yeah. It really does. And, and I and I tell and we had, I shared that with you. You know to step back. Yeah. You know to be quiet to watch your guests. You mm -hmm. know enjoy doing what they're doing. You know you know you were brilliant because because you actually made it to all the tables. You know and and with thirty four tables that's a feat yeah. to do yeah. Yeah. on that. Um, so let's talk about your first look. Mm -hmm. You know um, you had a vision for it, yeah. which was to be on the stage. Mm -hmm. Was 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 the first vision, but what actually happened was something totally different. Mm -hmm. And this is when, you know, uh, mm. what uh, the seemingly bad becomes the greatly good, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you don't even know it. But, you know, the picture that is here um, mm. is, is the moment. Yeah. And um, so tell us how it felt. Oh. Oh, it felt so, um, felt so great because I felt like I was just waiting forever to see him. And um, I was so nervous walking down the stairs because I could hear his voice and I really wanted to peek further but I'm like no I don't know if he's looking and he just I was it just kept getting nervous like don't turn around yet like because there's all these things happening um when I saw him it was like oh my goodness so much relief I've never felt so calm like after I saw you like I was so calm it was like oh thank god that's all well, I needed that's all I needed right it's but, like it's yeah. like you were back together again mm -hmm. yeah, yeah you know and, and that's what all this is about yeah and it's beautiful to also you know again she looked gorgeous and yeah, amazing did. at the top of the stairs so yeah, even did. even though it wasn't as I we had envisioned in the first place uh to 
that, again, that, that, that just, you know, all, everything will come together the way it should be mm -hmm. in a way is that it, even then with the garlands and, this, and the whole stairwell, the way it was decorated still made for an amazing it was, I, To me, it was a little bit more intimate. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, because it's about scale. Yeah. And, and um, the stage was beautiful, absolutely. And, right. and, and, and the platforms and the chandeliers and all of that. Mm -hmm. But it was vast. And, yeah. and and Jade is petite, and so to watch this this willow, this beautiful willow, you know, step down between the greens, which means so much to her, yeah. you know, to you both, you know, and, and you turn around, it was just, you know, it was, I, I wish, I, I know they got it on camera, and I, I, I can't wait to see the actual moment, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> you know, the, the, the photo that we had, you know, was really, really special yeah. uh, uh, to capture the, the, the sweetness of it. Mm -hmm. There you are. Oh, there great. you are. So then the next thing, um, you know, now that is, uh, and I love this, is we're on Wilshire Boulevard. Yeah. So where better to, to take a stroll and, and really to connect? Yeah. That, to me, that's a connection photo. Mm -hmm. You know, the holding hands and holding hearts moment yeah. of, you know, let's step away for just a minute yeah, exactly. and, and reconnect mm -hmm. on it. And I love that Patrick um, from uh, Foco got that shot. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, was, it was great, thankfully, to be able to. I mean, it, if you kept talking golden hour, golden hour photos, and that's a right. big thing for weddings. And right. we're, you know, we're in the Wiltron ceremonies inside, everything's inside, everything's stage lighting. So it was, it, you know, we had gone back and forth whether or not we were going to do that or right. not, but we we're glad that we, we just mm -hmm. said, okay, let's just do it while everyone's trying to get seated, everyone's getting seated for dinner. Let's, right. let's make that happen so we can get a couple of photos. And it was nice to get outside um you know to take, amongst, a breath. Yes. take a breath and be out amongst the, you know the street and 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 in front of the wilshire or the wolf the wiltern and 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 see the exterior of it and take some photos of it and again it's to see it's, it's a, just the random people around yeah. um and their expression they're realizing what was happening right. at the wiltern then you know they walk by it all the time and they don't think that everyone's going oh my god you guys are getting married at the wiltern this right. is what Amazing. So it was. It was great to get those kinds of reactions from, you know, it's strangers. It's like a public announcement. Yeah. yeah. Because see, everybody inside knew no. that you had gotten married. Yeah. But you're walking down the street, and I love when people just go stroll in their wedding attire yeah. in the city, wherever they're at, um, and let and let the public just yeah. wash over you, yeah. you know, in love and congratulations. Yeah. And that was so very, true. very cool. So true. Yeah. Um, and so. Um, we're going to kind of go through some photos and, 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 and see what else went on. I think we've got some. This is a uh, your play setting. Yeah. Now, this, uh, talk about the, the menu and the menu card, because this was really important to you. Yeah, uh, it was, because we wanted to, um, we wanted to obviously showcase what the amazing food that was going to be served was going to be. But at the same time, we wanted to put together a note for everyone uh, from me and Jade uh, saying thank you and voicing mm -hmm. our appreciation for them being there and that they're part of the stay and that you know we wanted you know, this this is all of us together um, right. to right. enjoy this and it also came up with the idea of um, the, the need for uh, placeholders for each individual right. person at the seat so being able to use a two-sided menu one side thank you note on the other side and then to have the amazing calligraphy done um, for every yeah, individual Katrina. name Katrina um, do her amazing calligraphy for each individual person's name on it made it you know that much more unique and special to each one of our guests yeah. to see their name, a thank you note from me and Jade, and then what they had ordered on, on the, the other, other side, side of it was it was we just thought it was going to be a great concert. Form and function is a wonderful thing. Yeah, you know, um, instead of having multiple pieces, you know, having the escort card and then having the yeah. menu card and you know having the thank you note at the end, you know, you you um, put it all together in one. It's all. It, it, you know, it, all of the, the, the motions got served, but the best part is your guests took all those with them. Yeah. yeah. And, and they wouldn't have taken the escort card, and they wouldn't no. have taken the, the, the menu card, yeah. and, and, and they would get the note in the mail, and that would be really nice. But this was really something unique and special. Mm -hmm. And with having the calligraphy on top, yeah. I mean, it, it was like your signature was yeah. at each place setting. Exactly. On it. Yeah. it was really beautiful. Now, the, the actual place settings, what I liked about them is that they were all unique. You know, we had three different play settings. This is one of three. It was done in, in uh, rose gold and gold and silver. Each of the dinner plates were different. The connector was the marble salad plate and the champagne glass because when the guests sat down, champagne was poured and the, fir and the, and the welcome toast, which was given by both of you, um, was given. And here again, form and function. Mm -hmm. That's the logistic head talking, yeah. but really the romance head 
says, how romantic is that? Yeah. You know, and then inside of the glass was this beautiful red rose, which was actually their napkin. Yeah, yep. that was yeah. a beautiful touch. That was yeah. that one was, of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. that was an <laughs> the amazing napkin. touch. I, I, yeah. <laughs> and see, it, you know, when the guests sat down, now this is where Bill ha had the opportunity um, uh, in the sense of the salad plate was actually at the play setting. Yeah. So when he served everything, all of that had to come back up to go back to the kitchen. Right. So there was this beautiful exchange, which really was a, was a beautiful service dance mm -hmm. that all of his staff did brilliantly. Absolutely. It was really, really lovely. Yeah. So what's next in our photo line, as we say? Uh -oh. oh, yes. <laughs> so tell me more, tell me more. Oh, my goodness. It, so this right here is our first dance. Um, up until this point, uh, the, the stage was closed to the audience or to the guests and everyone uh, so that they didn't see the dance floor or the monogram that was installed on it or the DJ stand in the background or the couches and candelabras. All of that was hidden from right. our guests up until this point because we had a video that we played of all of our uh, bridesmaids, groomsmen's um, thank you kind of speech Speaking. enrolled into a video mm -hmm. uh, instead of more traditional speeches. So. Uh, when the curtain came up, this was, it revealed the stage and led us up for our first dance to show just that amazing. Mm -hmm. It was it was truly stunning. We, that was one thing we never got to see until that moment yeah. right there either, because the the theater had already been set up for the ceremony, obviously. Right. So this had to happen during the the flip. So when we saw that and and how gorgeous it looked with the with the, the monogram marble, was stunning. Yes. The it shiny high gloss dance floor, the monogram perfectly centered, the DJ booth with its. Uh, Candelabras. With, and, right, and the other monogram above. Yeah, it, it just it was way beyond anything we had possibly imagined it was going to look yeah. like. It, it, was, it was breathtaking. And, yeah. and you heard it when, 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 yes. when, when the, the, the yeah. screen went up and, and, the, and then the, the, the curtain went up, literally, yeah. you know, you did. You, you heard the gas. Yeah. Because it was stunning. We it did too. It. it was amazing. Like <laughs> we were walking up the stairs and you just, oh my gosh. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Oh was, my God. Yeah. Um, so, in everything that we do, I know I learn and grow. Uh, I'm sure that many on the team learned a, learned a lot, and, and, and we all got tested uh, in, in the sense of, of our expertise and, um, and our flexibility yeah. on that. Um, as as, as the, the driving force behind all this, tell me a few things that you learned, you know, that, that, that you know, you, you don't know until you know yeah. type of a thing. Yeah. Um, time. Like, I never, I just, you hear that, you know, it goes by so fast and, you know, that type of stuff. Or you have, you know, eight, we were engaged for a total of 18 months, but it's like really once the venue was chosen, everything just starts to s pick up pace, like you said. And that was so just alarming. <laughs> It stuck, stuck up on us, didn't it? It stuck how, up on us. How fast um, everything goes. And um, I really believe that y you can stay present as much as possible, but honestly, you're still not prepared for how fast it's going to go. Right. And I didn't, I was the one person that was like, I'm not going to have the wedding blues. I'm going to be so happy when this is over. And so much wedding blues because I, I just am trying to keep it all in my mind. Mm -hmm. So I think to know that you can't control that. It will always be too fast. Right. And um, and if I, and just know that and going into it, like it's always gonna be so fast, so don't be upset. And, and yeah. always remember to get really good photography and yes. videography. and get it. That's the most yeah, and, and get, you know, and if you are gonna go do that, yeah, maybe not just get a great photographer, maybe get a few, you know, maybe hire two companies like we did, or you know that, that type of thing, or make sure that they have more than one assistant type of thing because these, it is money well worth spent to yeah. capture that timelessly, like forever. That's the right. one thing that I feel because like that's what you have in the yeah. End. I mean, you have the pictures in your heart, and you'll always have those. But you know, sometimes you need a refresher, yeah, mm -hmm. on it, and um, and and the scale and scope of the well turn yeah. was huge. You know, just just the real estate alone mm -hmm. on it to be in so many different places, uh, and, and um, I know we had Mickey and Sonia photography on the front side yeah. doing the step and repeat and doing the details, and that, and then Patrick and Shay and his team, you know, doing yourselves and um, and video. You know, John Bullsby on Godfather Films. You know, he's the one who 
provided a lot of the clips on this um, for that, along with the, the gentleman, and I, and I apologize, I don't know the gentleman's name who did the drone, but mm. that was through the well turn. Yeah. Um, you know, these these are your these are your best friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. these are your best friends. Mm -hmm. You know, and you and they did it pretty inobtrusively. I think absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Mickey and Sonia were ninjas. Yeah, they, yeah. they were just they, and all of them for the most part. John, I think I saw once, um, and then Patrick, obviously every once in a while for a couple shots. But they just, they would just appear at certain moments. Yeah, and they're, they're catching so. It, it, even though we have no idea how many other amazing moments that you know yeah. we didn't see or were, were a part of, but we're you know able to cherish as much as we will when we get, finally get all the photos from right. every one of that team. And I saw the email from Patrick. There'll be 2,500 yeah. photos, 20, 500. And, I, and I know Mick and Sonia probably have another 1,500. <laughs> so it's going to be a big viewing party, and that it doesn't is. count the video part of no. it. Oh my God! Which I again know is the video. with three different companies as well. Right. So it's, right. it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. But again, to me, that's all worthwhile. The more documentation, the better, because then you're able to get right. the most out of yeah. all of the stuff that did, like you said, fly by. It you know, flies by, fly so, by fast. so fast. So, so fast. It's um, important. Anything, if you could give like a top tip to couples from, from a couple standpoint, not, not the hardware, not the software, but, but the hardware, really the hardware of it. Um, you know, this has probably been growth in your relationship, you know, because, you know, it was a year. You know, I've been here for 13 months of it, you know, myself, and that I'm sure that there have been some, some, uh, some growth and, and, uh, and moments, you know, within the relationship on that, uh, you know, that strengthened it, you know, uh, in, in many respects. Anything, you know, pearl of wisdom now that, that you're uh, Mr. and Mrs.? Um, yeah, I think that it, 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 you pretty much hit it on the head with it too, because it's it's true. It's it's a journey for for the couple through through the entire process, because um, you're going to have you're going to have your challenges, you're going to have your differences of opinions, and it's it's a test of a relationship in itself. Mm -hmm. Um, trying to put together a wedding, uh, you know, depending on what kind of scope it is, either if it's a gigantic wedding or if it's just a, you know, a courthouse ceremony. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have some decisions to make and some things to go through. And uh, for us, you know, it, 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 we had our we had our things that we were adamant about or that tested us and and learned to compromise. So it was great to have that uh, to be able to work through that and. Showed ourselves that we can get through these kinds of right. situations each and every time. It's just a, another little issue we just got to resolve or come up with right. or, or, you know, realize it's not that important. So let's, you know, keep pushing. So on that note, realizing it's not important, um, realizing that in the end, none of it is important. Mm -hmm. That person is, is what's important. Right. So if you can just muster three words, I am sorry. Anytime something happens, if you can be sorry, if you can say it immediately, even if you think that the, your partner might be wrong, if you just rise above and say, you know what, I'm sorry, what, you know, I'm yeah. sorry, I did this or that, you immediately diffuse a situation. And I literally, it was all the things mm -hmm. did not matter because right. it was, this is the person that, this is what matters, he matters. Right. So, if and you I can, know that yeah. about you very much so. You yeah. know, what, from from my perspective, there were two things. Everything that he was planning was how he was loving you. Yeah, and, and that's and this is how he loves you. Mm -hmm. And for you, all you wanted was him to be happy. Yeah, you know, and and it was so apparent. It, yeah. You know, it was it, it, nothing else mattered yeah. was for you to be happy, mm -hmm. and, and that and uh, and and for you, nothing mattered was that she knew how much you loved her. Yeah. Which made it that beautiful circle of it really events because either either end of that just leads back to the same circle. You right. know, it's what I'm doing is going to make her have, or is my expression of, of, of right. how much I love her. And and and, and and by you doing that, she would see how happy you yeah. are, yeah. and that made her happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I always say that that we're not just planning a wedding; we're building a marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and this was absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, to to support that. You know, it was about you know collaboration. It was about compromise. Mm -hmm. It was about negotiation. It was about a big part about creativity, and that um, that was one of the greatest joys I had 
was to watch your creativity soar yeah. and and um, and to see the joy because it was absolute joy in you and both of you you know you with the great when, when you walked in and you saw all the, all the greenery it wasn't yeah. the flowers you saw the greenery yeah. you were just so happy and and you standing on the stage and and, and then sitting on the uh, on the, the platforms at rehearsal and calling the shots you know you were so happy yeah, yeah. It, it was just amazing um, I'm so grateful I'm so grateful Likewise, for our us, time together. Us too. And that, um, the nice part is it doesn't end now. No. You know, you go on to happily ever after. You have me in your hip pocket because we're also uh, we live in the same community. Yep. So now you're stuck with me. You know, I'm kind of that. Or cool, you're stuck with us. Yeah, <laughs> I'm that cool <laughs> aunt over here that 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 uh, uh, that is more than a party planner, but uh, oh, hell yes, sister. But also, you know, a friend. Absolutely. Yep. And, uh, Absolutely. Um, and this whole thing could not have happened without you. You were the first decision that we made and the best, the best. out of all of them. So, Thank because you. without you, this whole amazing experience could not have ever it was come fun. together the way it did. No, <laughs> it, it was, was fun. It was an adventure. <laughs> it was an absolute adventure. And I wouldn't, would, yeah, wouldn't take any of it back. And yeah, without your guidance and help and direction and, and, knowledge of who to bring into this team to make it what it was uh is unbelievably invalu invaluable mm -hmm. um yeah that, that, thank you <laughs> what wish do you have for couples if, if you could give them a wish from your heart to theirs what do you wish for them i wish for them to keep having fun like having adventures it's an adventure to plan a wedding so i hope they continue that adventure yeah. like honestly that and i hope they have a peggy yeah. <laughs> because they don't have a peggy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I tell people, I, I, you know, the, the wedding industry is, is a fifty-eight billion dollar a year um, uh, industry, and I, I and I see so many people go down the rabbit hole, yeah. and they don't have an Alice. Yeah. You know, I'm an Alice. Yep. You know, and I, and I and I will go down that rabbit hole with yep. you, and, and we will come out in, in, into the world of Oz more yeah. so than yes. anything else. Oh my God. You know, on it. Yeah. Well, I love you both oh, with all my you. heart. Um, and thank you. thank you. Thank you from Late Night Bride. We are here to love you through your engagement, your planning, and then beyond. I'm sure that there's other things that we'll come up with along the way. But remember, when you're planning a wedding, you're also building a marriage. It's so important that you stay present and that you keep the focus on love and each other. So until next time, this is Peggy Kelly. Jade and David Erickson now. I love that. Mr. and Mrs. Erickson. And together we wish you everything. But most of all, we wish you love. We'll see you next time.